It's week 13 of the National Football League, and the spotlight is on Nick Chubb. He's the NFL's ultimate red zone back and your leader in rushing touchdowns. It's the Browns and the Texans just ahead on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis on hand here. CD, you look at the Texans in this matchup, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against a defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from a challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawn. December and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by a familiar face. This is Houston's first round pick, of course, back in 2017, Deshaun Watson. the handoff now Watson and that is taken in by Njoku and they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done so the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10 now Watson and the throw left sideline here is caught but they'll rule it incomplete couldn't keep his feet in second down Second and ten, Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 30. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 24 carries, 98 yards, too shy of 100. He's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try and find some people up and down field. Watson to throw on third and one. He completes it to Jones. He's going to have the first down and more than that. Touchdown, Browns. Marvin Jones, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Browns get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. The Browns' kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. 
Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Second and nine now. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Finding space at the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Ten cycles. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. The Texans had 0-11 now in the year. And Charles, it's a bleak picture, just to be frank, when you're in a hole like this. because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaking. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. That's into a crowd and intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns are going to have it here as they start at their own 24-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get a two-score. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Here's Watson. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now it's Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's going to be a loss of 10 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Corey Bajorquez now. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 33. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to build the turnover that play did on the last one. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Seeing a similar start 
and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Faking the give. Now Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jonathan Greenard running in to pick up the sack. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just as well. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up forward. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And this will be taken at the 13. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Texans will take over. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Great. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. David Onyemata there on the tackle. Now it's second and nine. From the gun. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. But I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. And the ball. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Miles Garrett in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Browns will take over first and ten. Watson and the Browns now with a first and ten at their own 23. Out of the gun, Watson. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They go with Chubb on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they had a little, little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. It's caught by Bryant. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing again on second down. Watson, got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 24-yard line. Again, it's Watson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Yeah, their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have. 
backfield. He's going to have the first down and then so. Touchdown! Nick Chubb, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Browns go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Houston set to take over. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. It's hauled in by Shepard. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. He'll look to throw. It's caught by OBJ. They find some open field here. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Hawkins. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try from 28 yards out. Butker's kick here is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And he'll just take a seat, and the driver will begin at the 25-yard line. With well, the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. They have been red-hot, sometimes white-hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution, those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. To the air yet again, Watson. To throw is Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, Watson sliding out of the pocket. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville. And it's the Chiefs who are out in front as they move towards halftime. Patrick Mahomes looking good. Two touchdown passes. Next, we'll take the trip north to the Steel City to check on the Steelers at home in Pittsburgh. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Lastly, we head to Southern California to check on the Rams at home at SoFi Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Matthew Stafford, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Browns. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Texans, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. These two clubs running through their final halftime adjustments. It's just about time to get back at it. And for the call of the second half, we go back out to Houston, H-Town, and Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter. But you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And quickly, they get to the line. Hands it off out of the gun. And this time, they were waiting for him, as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. Well, they come out and take a look at him. We will step aside for just a moment. From the 35 on second down, Watson going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Second down, here's Chubb again. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Off of play action, it's Watson. Touchdown, Browns! Harrison Bryant, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, try to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a throw here to his running back. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by John Johnson. And the Browns are going to take over here up near the 40. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. On second and ten, Watson to the right side. He's got Cooper. It's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Watson. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. From the 35 on second down, Watson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Watson looks to throw again. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Texans offense set to regain possession. Ready, set. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And this is Shepard on the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. Well, okay, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. 
Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for the Browns TD. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And they have done themselves absolutely no favors to earn a win today in this one, Charles. The turnover woes continue on that last drive. They had that fumble that led to a touchdown. And Brandon, I would say they have a mission on this drive, and the bottom line is protect the football, just put together something that they can let the last drive go. Yeah, it was a bad play. They gave up points, but that doesn't mean it has to go that way the rest of this ball game. Do what you do best on offense and try and put the ball in the end zone yourself. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw here. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Second and three. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Now, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. They'll look to throw again. That's to his running back, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Again, he'll drop to throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They run a draw here on second down. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. The Texans on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This time it's third and three. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And yeah, they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now, no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. 
And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This defense has not surrendered. It. And he's in for the... Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Cleveland offense making their way out. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, we enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse. Who's going to win the MVP? Yeah, it really is. Uh, is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen. Out of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 43. And Chubble tried the middle here. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Faking the give. Now Watson. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. He was defended by Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And he missed it. It's no good. But that shouldn't matter a great deal as they still lead by a bundle here. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Oh, well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. From just shy of midfield, Watson going out wide, finds Chubb. And he'll go out here the 15 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Chubb. 
And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. A 71 yards rushing now for Chubb and a first down as well. A run for Nick Chubb. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second and nine, Watson. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll run with Chubb, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And York now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. That time a six-play drive. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. Fields it right around the goal line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Here we go. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Back to throw now on first down. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. They're going to look to throw. Fighting through, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Grant Delta. And the Browns come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Cleveland, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to eight.